everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today I'm doing what's on my phone video if you have not watched it already I had done an unboxing video of my redmi note 9 so it has been some months and I wanted to share what is inside my phone so without further ado let's get started with today's video my lock screen is of Kyokun from fruits basket which is my favorite anime and then my home screen is of Teiko Middle School from Kuroko no Basket, my another favorite sports anime. And on top, I have the weather app for a rain check because the weather these days are just unpredictable. So as you swipe, there is a bulletin of news, my daily dose of news. And then when you swipe again, we have the basic home word. So we have settings, notes, calculator, clock, file manager, calendar, weather, Gmail, Play Store, Chrome and all the other folders. So my first folder is finance where I have my mobile banking app, eSeva, wallet, Nepal Telecom and electricity, bill paying thing, Bathao and Adbatini app. So let me show you the wallet app which is actually a really useful budget tracker. So you just put your cash and bank you know money thing i'm broke at the moment but it shows you the cash flow your balance trends what amount is the income and expense and all that stuff so yeah it's really useful and as i've said nepal telecom for their internet facility so yeah i use that for the reason and also electricity bill for the same reason on we have the next folder that is for study we have Medscape, WHO, Adobe, Goodreads, Sketchbook, Notion, To Do and Forest. Now let me show you what Medscape is because Medscape is a life savior if you are a medical student. It has got news you know the all the recent health related news as well as you can search any drug you want so just go through it and then it shows you everything you will ever need in your pharmacology and then we have some disease uh, portion as well as well as there are many procedures that you can say so if you are in your clinicals it is really very useful app and then we have goodreads you can follow my goodreads it is linked in the description below where i show you what i read and you know my reading challenge and all and then there is a sketchbook app where i do my digital art it is a really useful app and yes i just do it as my hobby and then we have notion i will do a separate notion tour video if you want but this is what my dashboard looks like i have some gifs and it is really useful app and another one is the to do from microsoft and yes it is just your task manager just your basic to-do list it is really minimal and is really helpful and i've been using it for quite some time and it really helps me a lot and then we have the forest app which is a study app so in here you set your timer for studying and it helps you to reduce your screen time so you are not using your phone while you're studying and as you study it plants a tree so yes if you do not study it just kills your plant and then you can set your timer up to 120 minutes i usually do it for 60 minutes and then take a break so yeah in another folder that is of music and audio folder, I have music, Lexus Audio Editor and LibriVox, which is a audiobook version app. And currently I'm leading Oliver Twist on it. Moving on, we have photo and video folder. We have Visco, PixArt, InShot and Photo, where I usually edit my videos as well as my pictures and thumbnails for YouTube. And then on social, we have the basic social networking apps. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, the idea is here. You can follow me where I share some of my beautiful pictures that I like and also share my current reads as well as my BSN wrap up. So it has got all my nursing school memories thingy. So yeah. And moving on, we have the Google app where I usually use the podcast the most. Currently, I'm listening to tips on how to stop procrastinating. It is a free podcast Google app. You can 
just go through it and listen. There are a lot of things you can explore. It's really helpful, especially on the morning. And then moving on, we have the basic folder app where I have Zoom, Share It, Hamra Patra, True Color, and Cam Scanner. Nothing interesting there, as well as some tools app where I have the most random thing that I never ever use. So I have Contacts, FM Radio, Recorder, Screen Recorder, Scanner, Downloads, Compass, Share Me, Service, and some SIM toolkit, I don't know. And on personalization, I have Security, Themes, Assistant, Cleaner, and my Browser, and my Video, and Boost Speeder, and I never use that. So yeah, that was it on my phone. I use my phone a lot and I wanted to share it with you what I had. I hope you liked it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.